Hey gang, John Baccarelli here with your Lake St. Clair ice fishing report uh, brought to you by Sportsman's Direct. So this is one of two free fishing weekends every year. So this Saturday and Sunday, if you don't have a fishing license, um, you don't need one. Fishing is for free. And we've got some pretty darn good ice conditions for you guys to get out there. If, if, if this is your only weekend to get out because of the free fishing weekend, it should be a good one. Stable weather, doesn't look like any crazy storms coming in and uh, free fishing weekend. So you might as well get out there and, and have at or take the kids out and, and uh, try to catch some fish. So as far as the fishing goes, guys have been struggling all week. Um, they're seeing a lot of big fish all ends of the lake, but it seems like the bite has been a little bit off for some folks. Oh, you know, however, some guys are still catching fish, you know, regardless of the conditions. And those, the guys that catch them, you know, always catch them. But uh, by and large, I would say most of the guys have been having a tough time at it. They're seeing a lot of big fish, whether you're up at Fairhaven, Cotton Road, uh, Selfridge, out here off of the beach, um, down by the mile roads. Um, a lot of big fish really starting to move in. You know, we're getting, we're towards the end of February, mid-February right now, and those fish are starting to come in and get ready to spawn. So you're gonna continue to see bigger and bigger fish coming in, schooling up as we get closer to that March Madness time. Um, so here's my, here's my advice for the weekend. Um, we've had a lot of rain, we've had a lot of uh, dirty water getting pumped into the lake. So be careful around any of these areas that, you know, these corners of these points coming out. Obviously the spillway's wide open, Clinton River's wide open. Um, any of these cuts that have currents coming out of here out by Metro, you know, those uh, Venetian canals and archers, some of those bridges and stuff are gonna have open water. But you're gonna wanna be relatively close to where that dirty water is coming in, but you're gonna wanna try to hunt down some clean water. So, and that means for a lot of you guys going in tight. Like over here by the beach, that dirty water coming out of the Clinton River and out of Black Creek, a lot of times will flow out and create a little inside pocket of clean water, which is generally gonna be shallow. And that's what you're gonna wanna try to find. You're gonna wanna try to find those inside corners where you've got clean water and you've got dirty water wrapping around. Uh, that combined with these fish moving in, you know, getting ready to spawn, you're gonna start to see a lot of fish in tight. So my pick for the weekend would be to try to fish in tighter rather than go out there and, you know, go out as far as you can just because you can, which I know a lot of guys wanna try to do this time of the year because we don't always get good ice conditions like we have. But if it's me, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna fish a lot tighter than most people. Get away from the crowds, get in tight. Now, as far as getting in tight, you're gonna to wanna to get out early and cut those holes early, especially like over in the, in the dark of morning, which is what I like to do when I'm off the beach. I get in, I cut holes early, and then as the sun's coming up, I can move around quietly and I can stay on those, on those fish and I'm not cutting holes in shallow water, moving that school around. You know, sometimes that's easier said than done. Uh, for you guys coming out later in the afternoon, sometimes you can cherry pick all those open holes and pop around real quiet and pick up a lot of nice bonus fish that the guys in the morning have left behind. But um, that's just a little bit of, you know, what I would do if I was going to go out this weekend, and I won't be because you'll see me here Saturday morning dipping minnows. But uh, guys are catching fish um, out in front of the beach, up in Fairhaven, all different areas up there. Cotton Road's been producing some panfish still. Canals seem to have slowed down quite a bit, although we are still seeing some big gills coming in. A lot of fish, you know, in that 0.8 to 0.9 range pushing a pound. So there's some big gills coming in out of the canals, but just not as heavy of a bite as we, as we saw in the last, you know, previous couple of weeks. Uh, same thing with the perch. They have slowed down, but the size has gone up. Out in front of the beach has been catching fish. Down by Cotton Road, they've been catching fish. Um, out from Selfridge and down towards the barracks, they've been getting fish. Um, it's just been nothing hot and heavy anywhere. And uh, we'll have to see what this weekend you know, brings out with all the traffic because a free fishing weekend, you're gonna see a lot of people out there. So with that said, um, we will see you guys in here this weekend at the store. Be safe, be careful out there, but overall get, those, get some folks out that normally don't go out and fish and enjoy the weekend. Take care.